All right, I'm going to be recording both the video and the screen. All right, so I'm recording both video and screen, and I'm going to look at the way this Zoom camera works. So if you don't know, when you're on the when you're in the Zoom camera, the Zoom is using the wide camera uh, image from one all the way up to six point nine or whatever, and it's digital zoom on the wide angle camera. And then when you flip to seven, that is when you transition to the zoom or tele lens. So what I am hoping to prove today is whether we can use the zoom uh, image and inset it into our progression in the wide to at least clean up the center of the frame. Okay, and I'll show you that in practice, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically step through some major magnification uh, so it looks like I can only go two, four, seven. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to step in and out, and then I'm going to do just with the with the zoom wheel. So what I'm going to do is some editing um, with the video to inset uh, the video from the uh, 7.0 Plus into the 1 to 6.9 range. And hopefully that will all make sense. So what these next clips will show is how insetting the 7x image from the zoom camera, even though it will be undersized for the full frame, will give us better clarity in the, say, 3x to 6.9x zoom range, where otherwise the camera is so blurry that it's not very useful for smaller subjects. At night, this could be especially helpful because now your zoom image, when inset in the lower uh, magnification ranges, is about the same spot, same, same size as your light spot, thus giving you a lot more usable range than the camera does currently.